Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now in this video, I'm going to explain you about the differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics. And apart from that, what is the interdependence of microeconomics and macroeconomics? So these two topics I'm going to explain. Before this last video, I've explained you the meaning of the term microeconomics, its objective, scope, importance. Similarly, meaning of macroeconomics, its objective, scope and importance. These things I've already uh, I mean, explained you in detail in the last video. So before watching this video, I uh, expect my viewers to visit to watch the first video on micro and macroeconomics. Then you come to this video, definitely you can get a lot of command on the topics of micro and macroeconomics. So before starting our video, Take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board so that you can keep it a permanent copy before examination. You can revise and write excellently in examination. Now I'm going to explain you the differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics. First of all, in a tabular form, I'm going to explain you left hand side, micro, right hand side, it is macroeconomics. So microeconomics is the study of individuals. The very first point I explained you in the last video. Microeconomics is the study of individual units. The individual unit may be a firm, may be a household, may be a commodity. So any individual unit we are studying that is called microeconomics. But macroeconomics is a study of aggregate. Aggregate means total. All the firms taken together, all the households taken together, or all the commodities taken together, that study is called aggregate. So simply we can understand like this, a study of a tree in a forest is called microeconomics. The study of all the trees in the forest or study of the forest is called macroeconomics. So simply individual units, micro, aggregate, macro. Next one, microeconomics is both theoretical and analytical in nature. The microeconomics is theoretical because there is a lot of theory in microeconomics and Apart from that, analytical, whereas in case of macroeconomics, it is theoretical and more practical. The aggregate study is very much useful in practical terms because a number of nationwide policies, programs will be made on the basis of aggregative study, that is macro study. Next one is micro, the scope of microeconomics is limited as it deals with the individual units only. If you compare the scope of both the economics, the microeconomic scope is very narrow, very limited because we are studying only a particular unit of the whole economy. From the whole economy, we have selected only a unit and we are studying. Its scope is limited. Whereas the scope of macroeconomics is very wide, very large because we are not studying a single firm. We are studying all the firms in the nation, in the whole country. Similarly, we are not studying about the income of an individual. We are uh, studying the incomes of all the people in the country, national income. Similarly, we are not studying the production of a particular unit, but we are studying the production of all the units. In this way, we can say the scope of microeconomics is limited whereas the scope of macroeconomics is very very wide. Next comes microeconomics is important in resource utilization and making business decisions. Microeconomics is mainly used for allocation of resources, utilization of resources effectively in a business organization. So every business organization will make use of microeconomics to start to take business decisions. 
how to effectively utilize all the resources like funds, money and uh, capital, capital, then uh, machinery, material, labor, all these are the resources. How to effectively utilize the resources? That's it. I mean, a study of micro. Whereas macroeconomics is important for formulation of economic policy for the nation as a whole. This macroeconomics is study is conducted to take the policies and programs of the government which controls the whole country. So how to control the whole country? How to I mean economically develop the country? The government has to frame a number of policies programs. For that purpose, the government needs the information about macro or aggregative study. That is the objective. Next, the concept of microeconomics are independent in nature because every firm is a peculiar firm. So every firm's issues are different. So the economic study, the microeconomic study will differ from one firm to another firm. There is no interdependence. But in case of macroeconomics, the variables are dependent on one another. Example, population, income, investment, all these are dependent on one another. So we can say the macro study is interdependent. Whereas micro study is independent. Next comes microeconomics provides certain assumptions of economic theory. In microeconomics, whatever theories are there, that theory is based on some assumptions. Whereas in macroeconomics provide both assumptions as well as principles of economic theory. So this macroeconomics is based on some assumptions and also some principles whereas microeconomics is based on assumptions next one is last one the tools of microeconomics include my economic analysis profit management of units the ultimately the tools of microeconomics is how to utilize the resources economically economic analysis of individual I mean studies of a particular firm, profit management, this is the limited scope of micro. There is macroeconomics, the tools of macroeconomics include national income analysis, balance of payment analysis, theory of employment analysis, etc. So and so. So these are the scope or tools which are used in macroeconomics. Very frequently in examination, a question will be asked regarding what are the differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Seven points I have written here. I have explained each point. So after watching, after listening this video, definitely you will be in a position to write excellently in examination regarding differences of micro and macro. Now the next topic is interdependence of micro and macro. Which is more important? Are they independent or interdependent? Now I am going to study. Can we study only micro ignoring macro? Or can we study only macro uh, ignoring the micro? Are they independent or dependent on one another? Now I am going to explain. In examination question will be asked regarding explain the interdependence of microeconomics and macroeconomics. So here comes. Both microeconomics and macroeconomics are considered to be equally important for the study of economics and related to each other. First point. Both the studies are very, very important. Microeconomics is important. Macroeconomics is also very important to study the complete economics. So complete economics ke liye, you must have the knowledge about micro as well as macro. Both are very, very important. Then, according to Samuel Sun, one of the expert economists, he explains the interdependence of this micro and macro in his words. So, what the, Sam, what the author Samuel Sun says, there is no opposition between microeconomics and macroeconomics. First contention. There is no opposition. There is no fighting between micro and macro. There is no friction between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Secondly, both are equally vital, very much important and you are only half educated 
if you understand the one while being ignorant of the other. <clears throat> so what Samuelson says, you will become half educated if you study only one, leaving the other, being ignorant of the other. That means if you're perfect only in microeconomics and you don't know anything about macroeconomics, then you will be called a half educated. Similarly, if a person who knows only macro, he doesn't know microeconomics, he will be half educated. So if you want to be perfectly 100% educated, you must study both. You must have the knowledge about microeconomics as well as macroeconomics. Now the relationship between the two can be explained as follows. So I have selected some three points where I'll explain you how both the economics micro and macro are interdependent on each other first point for studying microeconomic analysis one has to rely upon macroeconomic analysis if you want to study microeconomics micro analysis you must have the knowledge about macroeconomics also because a business is a part of the society a business is a part of the whole nation. A business is not running in isolation. A business is a part of the whole. So when the business is functioning in its own capacity, it must consider the surroundings also. What is happening? Because we don't have a monopoly. We are having competition. Lot of competitors are there. So a business organization has to study not only on of their own factors, but also it must have the knowledge about the whole aggregate. Simple example, the prices of commodities, the study of price of commodity of an individual firm is a micro, but for taking a decision on prices, the firm must consider what is the general price level, what is the inflation level, what is in the market as a whole. So, for studying microanalysis, a person must have the knowledge about macroeconomics. So, here example, for example, decision regarding price of a commodity depends not only on the demand and supply of that commodity, but also on demand, depend on demand and supply of other commodities. Just now I told you, we are not the only producer, we are not the only supplier, so many competitors are there. So that means the demand of our product does not depend only on the price and supply of our product. The demand of the product may also depend on the supply and price of competitors, other suppliers. We are only a part of the market. In the market, so many companies are there, so many firms are there. So the decision which we are taking will also depend on the decisions taken by the competitors. That's why a firm must have the knowledge about micro as well as macro. Second point, the study of microeconomic analysis is essential to study macroeconomic analysis. Similarly opposite, if you want to study the macroeconomic analysis, you must have the knowledge about microeconomic analysis. If you do not if you do not have any information about micro, you cannot understand the macro problems. Example, for understanding the functioning of the whole economy, studying the functioning of individual units is essential. If you want to study the aggregate, you must have the knowledge about the individual units. That means for completely understanding macro, you must have the knowledge about the micro analysis last one is neither of the two approaches can be ignored that means we cannot ignore micro and conduct only macro study or we cannot ignore macro and study only micro both are interdependent and related to each other that's why they can be said as complementary to each other Microeconomics, the it is a complementary of macro. Macroeconomics, scalia micro is the complementary. So both are interdependent and related to each other. So in this video, I have explained you the differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics. 
and interdependence of microeconomics and macroeconomics. Hope you understood the topic of micro and macro. Inshallah, we'll continue our topic next topic in the next video. But before that, I suggest you to visit my second channel by name by name Hans Accounting Institute. The link I have given in the description. The name of the channel is Hans Accounting Institute. Please do visit my second channel, watch the videos, enhance your knowledge and give a like and subscribe my that channel too. Inshallah, we will continue the next topic in the next video.